Yo, what the fuck is good with y'all, man? Y'all already know who the fuck it is. It's your boy, huh, aka Dave, coming live from the School of Nation Studios. And today, I got a brand new video for you guys. Now, this video is pretty crazy. I honestly didn't think I would upload this video. And I still don't even know if I'm actually going to really upload this video after I'm done talking and making it. Not only for legal reason, also for physical reasons, because I don't know what might happen after I upload this video. So I still don't know. But if I do upload this video, this is the only video I'm giving you guys the opportunity to do this on. You have my full permission to download this video, to share this video around on Twitter, share this video around on Facebook, share this video around wherever you want to, and I will not copyright it. I won't report it. I won't do anything about it. You can like this video. You can share it. You can copy the link, show it to all your friends. Because, man, what I'm getting ready to talk about is deep. I know big YouTubers are not going to talk about this video. It's because a lot of big YouTubers are actually involved with this group that I'm getting ready to pretty much talk about. So, I don't expect this video to get millions of views, which I hope it does. Because I hope a lot of people become aware of this group. Like, how I've become aware, aware of this group. Which I didn't know about them until after this whole ordeal happened. And I did my some basic Google research and found out about this group. But I... Don't expect a lot of big YouTubers to talk about this because they can't talk about it because they're actually involved with this organization. So if this video only gets 5,000, 10,000 views, I will not be surprised because a lot of big YouTubers can't talk about it because they're involved with this group. That clip that you saw at the beginning of this video, that's a real clip from a real person's video slowed down by a person by the name of Jesse who runs a prank channel called Prank vs. Prank. Him and his girlfriend broke up, him and his girlfriend Gina. In this clip, He's pretty much just expressing how he's in the Illuminati. He wants to get out, help, blah, blah, blah. This person has over 10 million subscribers, makes hella money. It's just crazy. So I'm done talking about them. Let me just go ahead and just talk about my situation because I don't want this video to go on for too long because I want to shorten up as quick as possible. Like five or six months ago, I got an email from a person. By the, I'm just going to call him Chad. I'm not going to say his real name. I'm not going to even go that much into detail. He emailed just saying he had a huge business pro, um, proposal for me. Um, he wanted to do a formal meeting. He was just saying there's a lot of money involved. He was local in the Omaha area. And I was very interested at the time. I'm like, okay, this person is local to me. We could just meet up. He said he was going to actually pay for the lunch. We could go wherever we wanted. So I'm like, okay, cool. That, that sounds amazing. So we agreed to meet at this place called Pepper Jacks the next week. It's a Philly cheesesteak place. So I walk in, I meet up with the dude. He had his partner there. I'm just going to call him Bob. He pays for my food. We sit down, we get straight into talking. He didn't immediately start talking about the group per se. He started off immediately just pretty much congratulating me on my success so far on YouTube and how my channel was growing. So it was just going at a crazy rate at that time. My channel at the time was growing at about a thousand subscribers a day. My channel was just going crazy. I think that month in particular, I had gained about like 23,000 subscribers. Like my channel was, was fucking like doing crazy numbers. After him congratulating me for about a couple minutes, I wanted to really hear his business deal, the business proposal, what exactly he was offering because I didn't want to sit down and hear a person congratulate me. I want to hear the actual business deal once i question him about the business deal he goes into talking about the group about how much the group has helped people in general and he was talking about how this group has been around since the 1600s this group has helped multiple people succeed in life get their fame or fortune and a whole bunch of stuff so i was interested at the time he had me i was like okay you know this is definitely an amazing group do you guys have your hand with any other youtubers do you guys do this with any other possible youtubers that i may know the person he ratted off a couple names i'm not going to say their names because I, i'm not that type of dude i'm not no snitch ass dude if these people they want to come out and say who they are they could come out and say who they are on their own but all i can really say is there's hundreds of people no not hundreds there's thousands possibly thousands of youtubers involved with this group that's all i can say i don't know if it's truly thousands or maybe just a thousand. I'm not 100% sure, but he ratted off like two, three names. I can give you guys a hint on who possibly one of the names are. All I can really just say is that this group definitely targets predominantly African-American people, and they have a huge hand in the 2K community. This group could definitely help you reach over a million subscribers within a year. Like they could definitely help you do that. I was interested once he said there was other YouTubers involved, 
I asked him, have you on a personal level ever dealt with a YouTuber? Have you ever helped a YouTuber out? Anything like that? He said this was his first time ever doing something like this, especially for Omaha. But he said other major cities have a lot of other major cities deal with YouTubers. And I will be the first person from Omaha being involved with this group. So I was definitely excited. I wanted to be involved with this group. I pretty much reiterated, OK, what is the business deal? How 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 is this a business deal? Is this a scam? Are you just involving me in a group that I have to pay for or a group where I could just meet up with other YouTubers or socialize other YouTubers? How does this group work? So he pretty much just told me a secret group. He still didn't tell me the group name at that time. He just let me know that, hey, this is a secret group and this is what we do. They actually purchase the YouTubers intellectual property. So all the intellectual property, all the rights to his channel, there are any websites, any Facebook accounts or anything like that. So he, he started off talking about how he will purchase all the rights to all my videos and my channel and all this and that. And then I started looking at him crazy like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then once I started looking at him crazy, he already knew. Well, like, I'm getting ready to say like, yo, I'm get, I got to go, bro, because you talk about some crazy shit. I'm not about to sell you my fucking YouTube channel. But then that's when he immediately started talking numbers like if he was playing a game of bingo. He immediately got into talking about we will buy your channel for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and you will still make seventy five percent of the channel's revenue. So I'm getting ready to stand up. My nigga, I fell down like if it was a whole earthquake outside. I'm like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Like I'm thinking to myself, like my channel hasn't even hit a hundred thousand subscribers yet. My channel is nowhere near worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars like this is crazy plus i still make 75 percent of my channel's revenue even though i don't officially own it so i sat down real quick i'm like all right you know i'm definitely interested we had to set up a second meeting i have no idea why I, why i had no idea why at the time why he wanted to set up a second meeting but he said okay we got to set up a second meeting we to meet up the next week on wednesday and then he, he would have to pick me up because we're going to go into a gated area next week he came out he picked me up it was just chat by himself bob wasn't with him at the time he was actually at the place that we was going to meet him at we go downtown omaha to a building that i never been to before but it was on a very main street i passed by the building all the time and a lot of people pass by the building at the time but they don't think really think anything about it so we pull in he types in the code to the gate we get into the gate and in the back there's like a steep set of stairs that we had to walk into then he unlocked the door we got in the crazy thing about it the door there was like okay so when you go inside of that door it's like a very small hallway no more than like three people can fit inside this very small hallway because you go straight to the next door and then this next door is more secure then the outside door, you actually got to put your fingerprint in it. And then you got, he had to scan his car through it. Then it made a couple beeps. And then we was able to get through and get inside of the building. We get inside of the building. And there's three doors. Just to pretty much describe what the room looked like. There was like nice Templar images on the wall. Other images at the time, I didn't know what they was. But after doing research, it was like Freemason, Illuminati type symbols on the wall that I was looking at. And I'm going to show you guys on the screen. A couple pictures of what the building looked like and what a couple of the symbols look like that's actually on the outside of the building as well but they had like nice simpler images and all kinds of stuff around these walls so we went to the door on my far left hand side we go in he does the same thing we do the fingerprint slides his car we go in and then bob was already in there he was already in there he had a binder and he had a, a pen right next to him so we sit down and we get into talking so he opens up the binder and he says a check down that was already written out in your boy's name for $250,000. And bruh, I'm telling you, when I saw that check, like my heart just dropped. I was like, bruh, like, you know what the fuck I could do with $250,000 right now, man. I could do so much shit. I could make so many investment with this money. Like it, it was crazy. So when he pulled out that $250,000 and it was in my name, written out in my name, I was like, man, this is this is crazy. We sit down, then he got into talking about the group. The group was called Freemasons, how they originally derived from the Knights Templars from the 1600s and all this and that. 
pretty much explaining that some of the history about some of the meetings of the group how you know how often we would have to meet and this and that how everything worked and i was fine with everything i didn't know anything about freemasonry i didn't know anything about it if you guys do remember about a couple days ago on twitter if i upload this video on time about a couple days ago on twitter i said fuck the illuminati you know reason why i said fuck the illuminati on twitter is because like this whole situation has just been on my mind ever since this happened and and it pisses me off that this whole situation just pisses me off they go to talk about that then he goes into saying like well there's a couple rules that you would have to follow i was like okay you know some rules i'm fine with that so one of the rules that he was talking about what well, first off like the first rule that he started off with is that hey this is a secret group no one can know you can't tell any of your fans this and that no one must know that you're in this group unless you're inviting someone that you trust near and dear to this group you will have to be another youtuber of your size who will have to be here in the omaha area so that's how it worked. I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. You know, secret group. I don't tell nobody, but I still get this $250,000 check. You know, I'm cool. So I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm ready to go home, go to the bank, go cash this check, all that. Until he said a rule that I wasn't really messing with. Next rule is you got a series on your channel called the Real Chop Series on your playlist. And you, I would have to discontinue that series. Not only discontinue that series, I would have to delete all the videos if they was to purchase the channel. And I was like, why would I have to delete that series? And if you guys don't know about my Real Chop series, my Real Chop series is where I talk about a whole bunch of black issues. I talk about black people getting shot down by cops. I just talk about a, a lot of different things, but I mainly talk about black issues. Hell, one of them, if it was me going out to a Black Lives Matter protest, because I'm very active when it comes to the whole black community deal. So they told me that I would have to discontinue it. After hearing that, I was like, man, I... I don't know about that. I, I was like, man, like, like, damn, like, y'all want to buy my channel, but y'all want me to stop, like, one of the realest series on my channel where I can really go into detail and talk about shit. So I was like, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. I pretty much just said, could I have a week to think it over? And they said, that's fine. Once you have a week to think it over, give me a call, let me know. And... <clears throat> He gave me his card again, which I already had his card before. He gave me his card again, and he took me home. Pretty much should explain what else was inside that binder. When I actually initially walked into the room, they did have me sign a non-disclosure. Pretty much just stating that anything that they said inside their 